Welcome to Grand Cayman. Today we're doing the Stingray Sandbar, Coral Garden, and Starfish Snorkel Tour with Native Way Water Sports. This is their most popular tour with a cost of $55 per person, and our two and a half year old is free. Native Way Water Sports is a local family owned company founded in 1999. The owners, Eldon Ebanks and Sharon Hurd Ebanks, offer an authentic Cayman experience with their three different tours the one we're doing, as well as the Ray's Reef and Run Point and Singray and Island Tour. Today is going to be another hot one. We checked the weather. It's currently 80 degrees before 7 a.m. with a high of 85 and 85% 85 humidity. So got to bring that reef safe sunscreen and can't wait to jump in the water. So Grand Cayman is a tender port, which means the ship anchors at sea and you take a water taxi to the port itself. So this morning at about 5.45 a.m., we headed down to the Red Frog Pub, picked up our zone passes. We're zone 11, so we are currently waiting for them to call our zone. The ship actually anchored at about 6.30 this morning, which was 30 minutes prior to when it was supposed to. So hopefully, you know, they'll start letting guests off uh, faster than they thought. So we can get off faster than we thought because the ship is only here for a short time today. The last water shuttle back to the ship is at 1.15. So we're swimming with stingrays today. Amanda's super excited. Me, not so much, but I heard it's a great time. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so Justin is obviously a little scared or chicken or whatever you want to call him to swim and feed the stingrays. So let's touch on a commonly asked question. Is it safe to swim with the stingrays at Stingray City? And the answer is yes. Southern Atlantic stingrays are considered one of the friendliest and most playful species in the water surrounding the Cayman Islands. In fact, they are nicknamed puppies of the sea. These stingrays are born with a barb at the end of their tail that is not venomous. While it is sharp and capable of inflicting a wound, they will only use their barb in self-defense when startled or threatened. The stingrays here have grown familiar with humans over the years, so they've become naturally friendly and comfortable with human contact. Hundreds of thousands of people visit every year without any issues. So we're packing up our bag. We're gonna bring our beach towels, our reef safe sunscreen, water shoes, sunglasses, and some water bottles. Now we're just waiting to be called. And of course, we're bringing some snacks for our toddler. <laughs> Forgot my shorts as we were rushing out. So just wait and grab them for me. <laughs> Last one's out the shuttle, but we made it. We have about 15 minutes before our uh, excursion departs the pier. We're hoping we make it, so wish us luck. Just a short ride away. We already made it to the pier. We found Sharon, we checked in, so now we are just waiting to board and we are relieved that we didn't miss it. Yeah, front seat. We followed the driver down to the bus. We got front row seats, and now we're just waiting to be taken to wherever we are boarding the boat, the next boat. More boats or chicken? Boats. More boats. Oh, 
Look at the little chicks. <laughs> Heading to the boat right now. We're in the Cayman Islands Yacht Club. About to go yachting. <laughs> Take your time getting on and watch your step, okay? Give me your hand, baby. Made it on the boat. Let's get this excursion started. I have my engine Let's go. Running. We're going to be going out into the north sound. We're going to be looking at some stingrays, snorkeling, and starfish point. Starfish point is an area where you guys can stand and interact with the starfish. Snorkeling is where you guys will be standing in deep water with life jackets on. Your feet will not be on the bottom. You'll be in 12 to 13 feet of water. I call that area the aquarium or the fish tank. That way you guys will get to have a beautiful understanding when you get there what I'm talking about. And then Stingray City, the first stop. That's where we'll be heading. Uh, we're gonna, it's a beautiful day. We're going to make sure you guys get a nice comfortable area on the sandbar to stand up where everyone can have a beautiful interaction. Everyone first time? Yes. First time, welcome. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome to the Cayman Islands. It's a pleasure you. to have you guys here. Punching water on board. Anyone, if you get thirsty at any time, please do let me know. Now. What kind of fruit you. punch? Fruit punch. Um, Tampico. Al alcohol free? Uh, alcohol free. Oh, <laughs> That's a yes, question. Yes, okay. Be specific. Yes. <laughs> yes. Alcohol free. We're here right now and we're traveling across to Stingray City. And then we're going to Rum Point, Starfish Point, and we're heading back. So we're making a triangle pattern. They're looking for their food. So why are they rubbing up on your pizza or onto your body? Because they're begging you like, where my food is? I want my food. They're not going to trouble you. So what you guys do is take your hands and rub on their wings. You pop them on their wings. Now try not to catch them on your own. Now the last thing I got to tell you guys is that if you feel them rubbing on your feet or you see them coming close to you, a lot of people like to get tiny and running away from them. And that's the baddest thing you can do. They are nice, they great. So nice, I think they like to kiss and they like when you hug them. Ready guys? Yes! Okay, you guys can go. go out there with Brent, I will be with you in one minute. They're going in. Going in. Sorry, you put your hands on the top. Sorry, you put your hands on the top. 
Mark, you got to try to keep your hands right under the wing. Put out your chest. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Now you guys turn around so you can get a good photo. Put your hands on the top side and like you rub it hard on the wing. <laughs> Where do we kiss her? Wait. Just say kiss and she'll wait. lift right up, right in the middle wait, 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 wait. of her face. Sometimes she's doing it not all the time. Okay. You, you want to do it alone or together with your husband? No, I'm not doing it. Let's kiss her. Okay, mom, just okay. look at the camera. Don't, okay. don't touch the same thing. Just look at the camera. Okay. One, two, three. Hold Where it for a second. Right Anywhere. <laughs> I want to kiss her with your face up to the camera. Okay. One, two, three. Like that. Okay, turn your back to me now and look at the camera. I got to rub your back and give you a finger massage. A like. finger massage. Prenatal massage. <laughs> All right. There you go. You want to kiss it? You want to kiss it? You want to kiss it? All right, kiss it. Kiss it. Wow, you guys are brave. <laughs> You're not. Not me. I'm the cameraman. That's salty. <laughs> I'm the cameraman. My job is to uh, capture footage. And I got some footage. <laughs> They're brave. So, do you have any How you guys doing? All fun? <laughs> Couldn't be anything other than, right? Yeah. <laughs> Around here, they are not. You can see they are not protected by no wa wall nor nothing. They're free to go. Sometimes you see them here. Where we go to go snorkeling, they're going to be up there. Sometimes they're all over the place, so they go and come. But this is their little home. They was always here before. Fishermen start come here in the afternoon from fishing their fish out there. And they will come here and clean up their fish and show their trash before the stinger would come and eat like a stray away dog around your yard. But wait, they didn't get any water to feed them before. They were just feeding them from up on the boat, throwing the trash in the water. Then some tourist was on the boat the first time it happened and he decided to get in the water to feed the stinger. <laughs> and then the captain said, you crazy, I'm not getting in that water to feed the stinger. The guy get in the water, he hold it to the stinger, stinger come running, uh -huh. grab it and go away, but they didn't. So it takes months after, they could come to you and then you would grab them, and that's how it starts to come. Oh, wow. And how long ago was this? That was, uh, they say about 7 to 8 years ago. Wow. Now. This is Sandbar. Sandbar. Where the fishermen used to come out and the local come and they hang out here on oh. holiday or Sunday and have their little fun with their family like a picnic. Uh-huh. Stinger says it is down to the north. No, I find off the island. So this is Stingray Sandbar? This is, this is just Sandbar, sandbar. but now it's get popular, so they say Stingray City Sandbar. Stingray City Sandbar. This is Sandbar. Stingray City is 17, 16 to 17 feet of water, underwater. Oh, where okay. You can do your first, first open water, texture in it, or you can snorkel it. Okay. It's deep. All that's right. the real thing. Awesome. Is that the girl? Yes. How can you tell? Because the girls are the bigger ones. Oh. Girls have tail fins. Right next to their fit, their, oh, um, we call pelvis fits. These two boys oh, okay. have claspers next to their tail. Oh, Claspers are the mirror of male organs, and they sit next to their tail. Wow. Maddie wants to go back to the boat, so. Daddy and Daddy are going back to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in, I'm gonna hang out right here. Cause this is really cool. You wanna get back on the boat? Okay. <laughs> See you later. We gotta please the toddlers. <laughs> so Justin's going back on the boat with Madison and I'm gonna hang out in here until we move on to the next stop. The water is a beautiful You can see right through it. They're feeding the fish and the stingray. We got to kiss a couple of them, <laughs> hug a couple of them, get massages. So, very, very, very cool. So, we had about 40 minutes to stay here at the sandbar, and now we're going to move on to the second spot, and that's when we're going to go struggling. I'm so glad I did not make it today. called the aquarium which is right off rum point so now we're going to get in and snorkel they're giving us our life jackets and flippers and we're trying to figure out if we're just going to take turns with maddie or try to both be in the water with her so stay tuned
How's the water? Cold? Meanwhile, we're stuck on the boat because Maddie doesn't want to get in the water. She just wants to eat Fruit Loops. If, if Max carry that down there, the fish eat that too. Yeah. Yeah. You take one from her, turn the water, and you go to see some. Starfish Point. Yeah. Buddy, wait for Buddy to. Don't take it out of the water. Don't take it out of the water. Yeah. Don't take it out. She just went. You don't want to stand? Watch her face. You can walk. Look. The green and brown is juvenile, red and orange is maturity. And we have to keep them underwater. We're not allowed to bring them above the water because we can get fined. Have to be submerged at all times underwater. It's a sponge family so it can absorb air and die. It'll dry out. They're here on a beautiful starfish point in the Grand Cayman Islands. Enjoying the shallows with all the beautiful starfish. Walking. All right, babe, how deep is it? Stand up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what, baby? You want to go back to the boat now? Okay, let's go. He is killing this bag of food right now. We got it from Lido Dead. Guys, on board. Thank you for choosing the Cayman Islands of your best destination. Come back again anytime. Sharon, we had an amazing time. Yeah, thank you so much. And congrats. Oh, thank you. A really, really small yeah, baby. She's though. already been here. Yes, <laughs> yes. Adorable. Cock a doodle do. That's what she's saying.
we had an amazing day with Native Way Water Sports. Their guides are so friendly and so helpful. They helped us like take pictures and videos and help us get Madison in and out of the water. So they're so friendly. And a really cool thing about these tours and this company is that their, their tour sizes are between 15 to 25 people. So our tour had about four different families, including ours, less than 20 people. So very intimate. And we can't recommend Native Way Water Sports enough we had just this awesome day and so many new memories made. So if you are wanting to pet and feed and kiss stingrays, then definitely look into Native Way Water Sports for your Grand Cayman tour. You wanna go on that one? It is elegant night. After we got back on the ship, we took a nap, showered, ate, and got ready for elegant night. So we're gonna head out, have some prime rib and lobster. Thanks for watching.